You know MAGALAND is struggling to connect with younger, more diverse Americans when they think it's a good idea to put this out into the world. MTG MAGA's MVP. MTG MAGA's MVP. Democrats get back. Boom! Reporters even get slapped. They're spreading all these rumors because Marjorie be spitting big facts. Deep state in the left always hating. Always hate. When they gonna let Joe up out that basement? Marjorie, I really love what you do. Keep calling Ronald's out. No one does it better than you, huh? A real businesswoman. AOC's a featherweight. A southern bell, a little hood. Watch her shake and bake. Jesus, take the wheel, George. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I flicked that on y'all. Joining me now with all my apologies is Matthew Bodie, professor at the University of North Georgia, who has written extensively about Charlie Kirk and Turning Point USA. Amara Gay, member of the New York Times editorial board and an MSNBC political analyst and the unfortunate soul who has to respond to that first. <laughs> You're the millennial, yeah. so what's what you think? Is that making you want to oh, be a Republican? God. Uh, well, I just, I, they seem a little confused. Uh, I, it's almost, it's like traveling back in time to 1990, but like in their imagination, I don't know, like what, what they think is going to happen here. It, it's remarkable. Um, obviously it's, it's also, we have to say uh, that it's offensive because of course the message is simply Young people are too stupid to know the difference. Uh, all you need to do to appeal to um, younger people who happen to be a population and a generation that is more racially diverse is simply put some uh, faces of color in an ad and maybe rap as though that's what <laughs> rap or art or music or young people is is about i mean the whole thing it's kind of hard to know where to start um, it's not gonna work so you know and then of course the, the question here is did they talk to any young people clearly no clearly no i'm they guessing this was like hooked up in in some kind of a political consultant shop that should be fired but um <laughs> it's it's they a lot to take in it's a lot to take in <laughs> That's a lot yeah. to take in. Uh, so so it, I, I leave it to you then, Matthew Bode. You are both in Georgia, uh, and you understand Turning Points USA. What is the point? What Do, do they genuinely, because they have this urban engagement kit, and to Mara's point, they seem to be trying to sort of do, like, fake blackness, but they also hate black people, and Charlie Kirk says so, like, every day. <laughs> so your thoughts. I think, what are they uh, doing? I think it's two things. One, um, Mara's right, it's the power of nostalgia. So it, it's taking back to the 90s, but also how things were when millennials' parents uh, were in college, or even before that. That's what Charlie Kirk talks about, is returning America to a, a simpler time. But I do think also it treats non-white culture, whatever uh, culture you want to think about, as, as exotic, as some sort of thing you want to be a part of, but you don't want to learn about, right? I mean, you have these MAGA celebrities who are black showing up to Turning Point conferences and doing selfie stands with all the older white voters uh, who show up. So it's an exotic thing. I want to be a part of it. I want to be excited, but I really don't want anything to do with it or understand it. Yeah. I mean, look, I, I listen, I, I lived through the 90s. I'm Generation X, and I can tell you that was not what the 90s were like at all. <laughs> Hip-hop was actually high quality, and it wasn't like that. But let me, let's talk about this, because what they're trying to do is appeal to young people, but they keep doing policies, Mara, that young people hate. Um, if you look at what, how people feel about things like abortion, age 18 to 29, 83 percent want abortion to be legal. You can go through anything, climate, all these other issues, but then you actually look at who young people are. The median age age of white Americans is 43. The median age of Latinos, African Americans, um, Asian Americans is under 35 or in their 20s. African Americans are one of the youngest groups in the country. Only 19 percent of white Americans are under 18, but and 20 percent of Asians, 25 percent of blacks are under 18. 27 percent of indigenous, of Native American, um, you keep going, Native Hawaiian, 28 percent. But it's multiracial who are the biggest group of under 18s. So isn't their problem that they despise the people who they think they're trying to attract? Well, I think their problem is that their main uh, vehicle at this point, their main plan to win elections um, is to is really based on a very extreme group of voters appeasing those extreme MAGA voters, and then um, suppressing the vote elsewhere. 
And so until um, until they're ready to let go of that and and actually uh, legislate again and take part in democratic society um, by being focused on winning elections instead of uh, suppressing voters, uh, that's not really going to change. So it's hard to look at this any other way than, you know, Republicans know they're not going to win young voters overall. The best they can do is, you know, shave a little bit off the edges, maybe uh, throw something against the wall, see if that sticks. This is a Hail Mary. And yeah. then also um, hope that many voters don't turn out. Don't and that's, show up. You know, that's, I think, what this is about. But there is an underlying um, lack of understanding, I believe, about what many Americans, not just young Americans, but the majority of Americans who do support abortion rights, who are worried about climate change and down the list, the world that we live in is not the world that today's Republican Party yeah. lives in. And, and Mr. Uh, Matthew Bodie, who is funding this? Who funds them? Well, Turning Point, as you know, is a 501c3, so they kind of reveal their donors every now and then. I mean, we, we get a general idea. They do call themselves a grassroots organization, so there are small donors. Uh, but the people that are funding the conference this weekend are, are mega donors, uh, people who want to see Trump on stage. And those people who show up to those conferences are paying you know, several hundred dollars to do that. So it's a grassroots, but there's also uh, you know mega donors as any uh, conservative group has. But I think that the, the rhetoric they point out tries to show that they think they have a movement going with young voters and they don't they're not they haven't changed young voters voting uh patterns in in the years that turning points been around so really they're attacking higher education attacking college degrees attacking things that young voters are into to get more money from those donors 